A deadly fire erupted earlier today in a low-income housing development on the 1200 block of Sherborne Boulevard. This was the scene earlier as firefighters desperately tried to save two children trapped inside. Despite their best efforts, 10-year-old Dmitry Pemchenko and his 8-year-old sister Sonia were killed in the blaze. Their parents were at work at the time and had left the children alone. No word yet on what caused the fire, but officials say they have not ruled out arson. In other news... <clears throat> See the news? Yeah, of course I saw it. It's on every channel. You promised me the building would be empty. Now I'm looking at two counts of murder, one. You're not looking at anything. It's all taken care of. Well, maybe you have the coin to cover arson, not murder. Trust me, I do. Or you will when you sell the land that Tenement was on and make a bundle. Do you think I'm going to sell that land now? Please. I just want to forget this whole thing ever even happened. And you know, if the city had let me tear it down in the first place... But they didn't. So you came to me. And that's a mistake I'm not going to repeat. You see, I'm not like you, Rick. I'm an honest businessman. Bull, you've been cutting corners for years. Now it's going to blow up in your face. No, 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 it won't. Not if we all just relax, OK? Think smart. Now I'm chalking this whole nightmare up into a, a business deal that has gone wrong. I suggest you do the same. Two dead kids, Crane. I could do serious time. I want my family taken care of. I want another 50. Your family, they're not my responsibility, and the dead kids aren't my fault. This is business, B-U-S. I, I know how to spell business. Great, and you also agreed to do this for 60, and those dead kids are your fault, your screw-up. Watch it, Crane. I know where you live. Is that a threat? And I know you'll be home when I get there. What does that mean? I do my research. You're scared to leave your own house. You haven't set foot out of it for three years. Just the idea makes you all panicky. It's like a sickness. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. It's got a fancy name, too. What's it called, uh, agoraphobica? It's called agoraphobia, and I don't have that, OK? I can leave this house any time I want. Right. I said I want another 50. And I said forget it. Sleep tight, rich boy. Meet Scott Crane, a real estate mogul who thrives on the art of the deal. In Scott's world, everyone has a price, and any problem can be solved through skillful bargaining. But he's about to learn that some debts aren't so easily settled in the Twilight Zone. Arson investigators are still trying to determine what caused the fire that took the lives of two children yesterday. Eyewitnesses told police that a man was seen lurking nearby just before the blaze erupted. The tenement holding a gas can and a pack of matches, no doubt. Ugh. When the city moved, Rick, you idiot. Developers claiming that violated certain statutes protecting low-income housing. Local officials were quick to respond to the tragic news of the children's death. The mayor released the statement today, saying that he will organize a task force to investigate ways to improve emergency services to low-income neighborhoods. Meanwhile, parishioners at St. Anthony's Church have scheduled a prayer vigil tonight to the site. The building's owner, Scott Crane of Crane Enterprises, could not be reached for comment. Funeral services will be held Saturday for Dmitry and Sonia Pemchenko. A terrible tragedy, Suzanne. Yes, it is, Kim. And still, so many unanswered questions. to your health.
The children had apparently hidden in a closet when the blaze began, and firemen were unable to reach them in time. Officials say they are still looking into what caused the fire, but one thing's for sure. Dmitry and Sonia Pemchenko are dead, and everyone wants to know who's to blame. Okay, Rick, I get the point. Come on out now and stop playing games. I'm serious. strongly about this extra 50,000 and I'm willing to be flexible but you got to show your face now because I'm sick of this crap Rick you're very clever I don't know how you got in the house but don't push me my friend I'm trying to be reasonable Rick is someone with you Tom Phillips, and I have some news I thought that you would want right away. Yeah, what is it? We've pinpointed the cause of the fire on Sherburn. Apparently, a heater malfunctioned. A heater? Yes, sir, a floor heater. I see. So we're ending the investigation, and we're ruling the fire an accident. Well, thank you for letting me know. You're welcome, Mr. Crane. Rick! This is it. This is your last chance to show yourself or I'm calling the cops. All right. OK, have it your way, buddy boy. anytime I want. When I come back, I'm bringing the cops with me. I need this house anytime I want. You can't make me leave, Rick. Now come out here and let's discuss this like men. Son of a bitch, get out of my house.
circuit breaker. In the garage. Now I gotta explain how I got your corpse in my basement. You screwed up. Again. to Rick was pretty, uh, you know, but um, I understand why you're so angry at him, because uh, he is the one that, um, that hurt you, whereas I am just a businessman, and I can actually be some kind of help to you, you know? Maybe we can work something out. Sure there's something that you want? Maybe for your parents, you know? They do need a place to stay. How about a condo on the, um, on the west side? Some place we... Like hell. Listen, Kate. No, you listen. We had a deal. I plant the busted floor heater, and I falsify my report, and you give me $30,000. Now, I kept my end of the deal, and I want my cut. Okay. But Rick? Rick was supposed to meet me an hour ago with the cash, and he never showed. He's downstairs. He's dead. What? Yeah, they killed him. They who? The kids. The dead kids. It's... Listen, they killed Rick, and now they want to kill me, but I, I'm trying to work out a deal here. You're drunk. Yeah, and a little pilled up, but I think I got this under control, all right? Now, listen, I, there's another $20,000 in this. If you stick around and you help me, okay? These ghosts are a little pissed off, all right? I'm going to be honest with you, but I think that you can be invaluable to this negotiation as sort of like a, like a mother figure to them. You've got that much cash in the house? Yeah. What do you think? I'm going to pass. Why? Just give me the $30,000, and I will leave you alone to wallow in your guilt. Hey, wait, this isn't about guilt. <laughs> what are you kidding, Scott? You're a slumlord. Not one of your buildings is up to code. If you hadn't a torch to that place, it would have gone up eventually. This is your fault. I, I am a good guy, all right? Now, I've got my problems. I'm afraid to leave the house. I'm, I'm agoraphobic. You're slime. 
And I'm slim, too, for taking your money. But at least I can admit it. Wait a minute. Hey, Kate, Kate, Kate. You've got to help me. I don't got to do anything. I'll come back for my money when you're sober. And what about Rick? That's your headache. I'm really, really sorry about what happened. I'm really, really sorry that you got uh, killed. I'm really, really sorry. Dimitri, right? I just want you to think about this for a second, OK? That's all that I am. Now, listen, you two kids, you can have this house, and that is, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's not a fair trade. You know, I get that, but that is a lot better than nothing. And if you kill me, you will get nothing. Hmm? And worse than that, you'll be no better than me. All right? All right? Now, just grab a little bit of enlightenment here. I mean, you don't want to be the kind of people that, that, that hurt people, you know? I mean, you know, who, who would let children, uh, um, I'm really, really sorry. Okay? I just, I don't, I don't want to die in here, so. Ow! Look, just let me out of here. Ow! Ow! Entrepreneur Scott Crane was killed last night when a deadly fire erupted at his home. Crane, the owner of the tenements on Sherborne Boulevard that burned Thursday, taking the lives of Dmitry and Sonia Pemchenko, had recently been cleared of any wrongdoing in that incident. Investigators also found no indication of arson at Crane's home, saying the blaze was most likely caused by faulty wiring. Now a breaking story. Let's go live to Skycam 9 as they are following a high... Scott Crane thought he could bargain his way out of any problem. But as he and his associates learned, the price of justice can never be negotiated, especially in the Twilight Zone.